Welcome, I'm Melissa Nevis and I am the Vice Principal at Unionville Montessori School. Today, I will be reviewing with you the health and safety and sanitization protocols and procedures which we have put in place at our school. Let's go outside so we can see what our morning kiss and ride and check-in procedures are. Before dropping off your children, we require that parents fill out a daily pre-screening form. We kindly request that individuals do not enter any of our school buildings if you answer no to any of the options on our form. For elementary aged students, parents will use our convenient Kiss and Ride morning drop-off program outside of the elementary building, screening station A. For easy identification of families, each family will be assigned an alphanumeric number to be placed on the passenger side of the car dashboard. When students arrive at school daily, their temperature will be taken using a touchless thermometer. The temperature must register a reading between 97 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Please note that access will be denied if a recorded temperature is above these markers. Due to the regulations that have been set by the Ministry of Health, in the event that one sibling has a temperature, the other sibling or siblings will also be required to go home. If a parent has a child in Junior Casa and another building, we kindly ask for the parent to please park their car and come with their child to screening station B. Please note, for the benefit and health and welfare of our UMS community, if your child is feeling unwell or flu-like or is exhibiting any COVID-19 symptoms, please do not send your child to school. All individuals must sanitize their hands thoroughly upon school entry. For students in Senior CASA, we are encouraging parents to use our morning kiss and ride drop off at screening station C outside of the Senior CASA building while remaining in your vehicle. If a parent has a child in elementary and CASA, please drop them both off to station C and your child will be guided to the elementary building. Provincial and public health guidelines must be followed on wearing a face mask or covering. Social distancing markers are indicated on the pavement outside of each of UMS's school buildings at all entrance and exit areas. Once arriving at the school, parents who have a child who is in our Junior CASA program, they will be required to park and come to the Junior CASA screening station D with their child to have the temperature retaken. Where possible, we will reinforce maintaining a two meter, six foot physical distance. Once entering the building, students will be guided to their classroom by UMS staff and teachers who are monitoring the hallways. Students will not be allowed to interact with other children in the hallways. As students enter the school, they will follow the directional arrows in the hallways and as they go up and down the stairwell. As our grade six to eight students do not begin their classes until nine o'clock and might arrive at school with a younger sibling, they will gather in the auditorium. Social distance measures are indicated on the seats and students in the same grade levels will sit with their designated grade cohort. Barriers have been created in the CASA classroom to keep students safe and materials are tabled and sanitized after each child uses them. Classrooms will be cleaned on regular intervals throughout the day, before and after hours, as well as when children are outside for recess. At UMS, we use Vital Oxide by Sanitization by Design to sanitize and ensure that all touch surfaces are clean and sanitized to keep our environment safe and healthy for all. All high touch surfaces will be sanitized throughout the day and evenings and often. Outdoor play equipment will be sanitized with our Vital Oxide sprayers between use. Students will place their outdoor shoes and coat on their designated hook and bring in their backpack, lunch bag and water bottle into the classroom. Each time students enter the classroom, as well as before they eat their snack and lunch, they will follow our hand sanitizing protocol by washing their hands thoroughly with soap and water at the sink. All classrooms and hallways in all buildings will be cleaned on regular intervals with Vital Oxide Spray. Students will keep their backpack, lunch bag, and water bottle with them and are welcome to drink from their labeled water bottle at any time throughout the day. As we are following the recommendations from the Ministry of Health, 
It is recommended that students change their mask approximately every four hours. So at lunchtime, students will remove their mask and place it in a Ziploc baggie or zippered section of their lunchbox and then put on a new mask once they are finished their meal. It is a good idea to pack an extra mask for your child in case your child drops theirs on the floor. Each classroom has been given a designated stall in each of our washrooms, so core hoarding remains intact. In addition, all washrooms and high touch areas will be thoroughly sanitized throughout the day by our custodial team and again thoroughly each evening in preparation for the next school day. As parents, if you need to talk with an office administrator, you must also follow our entrance protocol by wearing a face covering or mask, answering the screening questions, and having your temperature taken. We request that you please line up respecting the social distance as indicated on the area outside of the main office where you may interact with our office staff safely. If you are simply dropping off paperwork, we kindly request that you leave it in the designated drop box by the front entrance, ensuring that your child's name, family last name, and class is clearly identified on the document. This drop box will be checked and emptied daily. Sanitization by design has allowed for effective and efficient sanitization processes to be put in place. The products of the Max Fogger and the sanitization sprays, which we will be using, are all government approved. They are easy to operate with touchless application, eco-friendly, and provide excellent sanitization spray mist coverage. At UMS, we would like to extend our heartfelt appreciation for your patience and understanding. Hopefully this video will shed light on the coming school year and of our health and safety and sanitization protocols. See you soon.